Anna Marie Morrow from Merca Retirement Planning is joining us right now. And how many people out there have noticed a tsunami of, uh, you know, enrollment period, either in the mail or in commercials on TV or even radio? Uh, you hear it all over the place. And that's what we are talking about with our pal Anna Marie Morrow. Hi, Anna Marie. How are you? Good morning, Lou. I'm great. How are you doing today? Great. You are the director of Medicare over at Merkel Retirement Planning. And a couple of weeks ago, we talked about how people getting an idea that the enrollment period is coming up. And that's what we're here to talk about right now, because there's a bunch of different things that we are seeing and hearing about right now. We need to find out whether or not we need to be worried about all these different things we're hearing. Yes. And this Friday, October 15th, that is a big one. October 15th starts the annual enrollment period. It goes through December 7th and people can get confused because even if you aren't on Medicare, you're 65 or older, you're still getting all of the mail flooding your inboxes with annual enrollment. So a big question is, I'm not on Medicare, so do I need to be worried about anything this time of year? If you have an elected Medicare, annual enrollment is not the enrollment period you need to think about. It's still going to be just your initial enrollment period when you do go to elect Medicare. Then annual enrollment takes it from there every year. Okay, so if you have not signed up yet, then you're okay. You can you can breathe a sigh of relief. I think that's the biggest thing that people are wondering about right now. And because uh, we're hearing the 15th date, then there's some other dates down the road. But don't worry about that because unless you're already signed up, that's when you need to worry about it or if you have to sign up, right? Exactly. Well, even if you are going to retire, that's a special enrollment period. You don't have to wait until October 15th every year. If you're planning on retiring in March or April, that means you have a life changing event. And so that will start a special enrollment period. So October 15th to December 7th, that is for people who are already on Medicare. Now, is it a good idea, since people have so many questions about this, is to sit down with somebody who knows what's going on and be consulted on some of these uh, choices that you're making? It's so beneficial to have an advocate on your side. There's a lot of information out there that I get phone calls daily about that people weren't aware of. And one of the biggest ones is costs of medication into the next year. I just met with someone the other day um, who a couple of years ago, they had got their 90 day refill in November and then they went in for that 90 day refill in the next calendar year. And the difference in cost for their medication was hundreds of dollars. And what's even more interesting is the drug card still covered their medication, but they changed the amount of coverage. They changed the tier of their medication. So having that advocate on your side, like what we do here is we make sure you're prepared for what your costs will be going into the next calendar year because they can and they do change. That's the sure thing about healthcare. Okay, let's talk about the, the, the tier that you just mentioned that got changed and the plan that they're enrolled in right now. Is there a way to, to change uh, whatever plan they're in to have their drug costs covered with the new uh, with the new plans that are in place? Absolutely. That's what we can do from October 15th to December 7th. Have that advocate, have that agent on your side and they can help you find which drug card, which plan is the best suited for you next year and get you enrolled on that plan. So this is the time of year where you can make those changes to make it still a suitable and successful fit for you going into the following year. Now, obviously, that's one of the questions you want to ask uh, during the annual enrollment period. Will my medications be covered like it was the previous year? What other questions do you think we should be asking? Your supplement options. Let's say your main coverage, you're on a plan F or a plan G, and perhaps you want to look at an Advantage plan. Or are you on an Advantage plan and you would like to look at your other options on the traditional Plan F or Plan G? This is where you can make those changes. If you are on an Advantage plan, make sure your doctors, your specialists that you see, make sure they're in network still the following year because they can choose not to contract with that plan for the next year. And pharmacies, you, your pharmacy can contract with different drug cards and change that pricing every year. Wow. So there's a lot of things to think about and having an advocate on your side, knowing what you expect out of your healthcare coverage can go a long way to take that stress off of you at the end of every year. How about we talk about a, uh, a Merkel Medicare annual enrollment workshop? How do people get signed up for those that are coming up? 
Yes, we're offering online workshops throughout the annual enrollment season. Go to our website at MerkelPlan.com. Check that calendar of events. And when you see one become available, which will be soon here, get registered and get online. And then we offer a great complimentary workshop, one-on-one -on -one benefits afterwards with complimentary phone calls. Uh, you can submit questions during the workshops. It can be very interactive. So make sure you take advantage of that. But then also on our YouTube channel, Type in Merkle Retirement Planning and you'll see all of our, his, our, our history of uh, TV episodes that we've aired. And we are running a Medicare 1 2 right now, which has been so powerful, full of great information to consider. Uh, Anna Marie Morrow from Merkle Retirement Planning. Great information as always. Hopefully, we ease some stresses of uh, people out there having questions about the annual enrollment period. And we look forward to talking to you next time. Thank you, Lou. Have a great day.